How do you all? Bit of a shit day today, it's pissing down, so um, it's Sunday afternoon. So I thought I'd um, show you a little trick I learnt. It's just with um, baking soda and white vinegar. I left my bloody Weber um, smoky outside in, the, in a bit of rain and it's just um, made the charcoal grill a bit crook. It's got a little bit of rust on it, so um, what we're gonna do is, it's gonna get that and clean it all up and I'll show you what I do. It's a pretty cool little trick anyway, so I thought I'd share it. So here's the um, here's the Weber Smoky. So yeah, that's that's the state of the. Um, this isn't the cooking one. The cooking one's mint as I always keep that inside, and that's all clean as. But um, yeah, it's just this one here. It's got a little bit of rust and shit on it. And um, I think the, the mistake I made was I, um, instead of letting the coals burn out, I put a little bit of water on it and it's made it set in here and get a little bit wet. So I'd advise not to do that and I'd advise to keep your barbecue inside. So let's bring it over here to the bench. Okay, so we've got, um, I've got, I've got a bucket here. I've put some, um, where is it? Oh, it must not be in here. Um, some baking powder in there. Baking soda, sorry. Baking soda, not powder. Don't put baking powder in there. So baking soda in there, and then I've just got white vinegar. Cheapest chips. Just going to undo that. Just going to cover it. So you can see it foaming up already. So I'm just going to cover the... And seriously, guys, if you've got any old chains that you used to you tow out on the um, that you use for towing or um, using with your tractors or whatever, um, anything that's pretty much rusty, I'll show you anyway when we're finished. You'll it's quite a remarkable change, and it's pretty easy. Like I'm a panel beater, and we use all this special um, rust inhibitor and all this kind of shit. And um, here we are. We're just using a simple one here and it cleans up beautiful um another one i think i've got in here is i'll show you what it does i'll show you the stuff here um it's my little kit in here so we have a look in here i think it's called nearly i think i had some oh there you go it's gone for a skate this stuff. This stuff is, does exactly what this stuff is doing, but this is, if you get this on your hands, it burns like shit. It's a poison, as you can see. And that um, cleans up all your rust. This actually does a mean ass job, so if you want to use something better, or, or this is another one, but if you just want to use homegrown method, which is probably not so toxic and poisonous for the environment. I'll use this one as you can see it bubbling away there. Oh, it's got a can falling out there. As you can see in here, she's bubbling away. So we'll come back in about come back in about an hour or two. End of the day. And we'll check out how she's doing. About five hours. I've just put a little bit more baking soda into it, just to stir it up a bit. Now you can all uh, you can see that it's pretty much clean already. Just got this dishwashing, just wiping all that all that rust off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a, a chuck cloth and finish it off. Bit of a bit more of a um, scotchy pad up. Look at that! Really come out mint. I'm really impressed with that. So that's mean. So um, this is what we can, this is what we got out of it. So there you go, guys. That's five or six hours of um, shit on how to clean it. rusty chains, anything like that. No shit. It really works. It's um. 
cheap and easy. Just general old baking soda. Tap it in there. This is all empty. She fizzes up me. Don't put too much, it might over fizz over, but um in there I'd put about three teaspoons tablespoons in there, sorry, three tablespoons. Boom, give it a stir up, she's gonna be bubbling as and then you get your barbecue rack looking like that. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Um see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.